Good morning guys. Today I'm checking out the Makita Mac 100Q air compressor. Okay, so just to give you guys a little bit of context, uh, I'm Derek, the creative behind Rhodes PC, and what I do is typically paint and modify computers, but I also do things like props and models, dioramas. If I could turn the camera around, the shop is just filled with unfinished projects. But anyways, with the air compressor, uh, I use it mainly for airbrushing. So this is an airbrush and it's a small uh, controlled way of painting and uh, doing like a nice soft paint kind of coat or details. So you need to be able to control the airflow that pushes the paint through uh, the airbrush, which is what I use the compressors for. I had used this little Iwata Studio Series compressor for three years, three or four years, I think. And I'm not sure what happened. I have traveled with it, so I took it down to the States. Uh, and then when I came back, it just, you plug it in, everything's set up and just nothing. So I called Iwata and they kind of troubleshot a little bit with me, but we couldn't figure it out. So I think what happened is during, you know, travel, I did something to it and broke it. So in the meantime, I've had just a plain compressor set up. It has no uh, airflow regulation at all. So it's, I literally turn this one on, fills the tank, I pull the trigger, air shoots out at a maximum pressure, which is kind of helps me struggle through a few projects, but it really isn't what you need when airbrushing. What you need is control. Uh, so I've upgraded from that little guy. All the way to this huge Makita. Okay, let's get it unboxed. So I've just fired it up. You can hear it airing up. The auto on off switch is kind of this red switch on the right hand side, which is neat. There we go. So we filled up to about 100 pounds of air. And here's my PSI, I have it at zero. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a test uh, with some black paint on white paper towel to see what the control is like. I like it though, pretty sweet little compressor, isn't it? Okay, we're all set up and working. The Makita Mac 100Q, I think is a, uh, I think it'll work great for my use case. It's a really nice little compressor. It's not too loud. Actually, when it kicks on, it's very quiet. Uh, I did have to run out and buy this one quick connect. So it's a quick connect coupler with a quarter inch thread from an airbrush hose to go to the quick connect fitting on the air compressor but once that's on there it's working well the pressure gauge is quite neat when it's at zero you literally get zero nothing at all will drain from the tank but you can see that i actually have 100 pounds uh, of air in the tank or 100 pounds pressure so we turn her up with this big gauge here kind of to increase the the, the pressure through the line there it starts to kick on. I'll pump it up to right around 25 and show you the, the airbrush. If you know, my, my airbrush isn't being very, it's being quite temperamental, but uh, you do see I got a fair bit of spatter there. But I can get a pretty good Well, my airbrush is being kind of bad. There we go. That's what I wanted, a nice small line. Uh, by just pulling the trigger back a little bit means it was regulating the air pressure nicely. Otherwise, 
uh, if you know if the compressor was overdoing it it would just be like the huge spatter the whole time but the cool thing about this compressor for me is it's a shop compressor that I'm using for an airbrush so like with a different hose and a couple other fittings I can incorporate more tools you know like a brad nailer impact uh, a higher powered paint gun and things like that so yeah uh, I, i'm new to the whole unboxing kind of first impression style video but here's this one i was excited about this guy uh, not sponsored or anything but i was excited to add this compressor to my shop you know these spaces they're always growing you're always adding taking away trying stuff I tried to save money on the last air compressor and I bought one that just sucked. So instead of doing that, I chose a good one and this is my kind of my use case for it, but also how it looks and how it will perform in the shop. Really quite nice, sturdy little unit. Uh, it's got the roll cage and everything. So yeah, a good drain on the bottom to let out your moisture at the end of the day. That's always handy. And then there's the quick dump on the side should something happen or it overfills. Yeah, that's the uh, Makita Mac 100Q. Have fun.